you guys. I love it. guys it's finally here welcome back to my channel so today i'm showing well today and yesterday i'm showing you how to get this curly curly hair now this style has been um well this tutorial has been very highly highly requested and it's finally here for you guys yeah! So if you guys want to see how to get this very curly hair from super straight hair or you can already have curly hair, you can pretty much use this tutorial for any type of hair. I've seen curly girls use this style, um, the straw method. So yeah, so let's just get into the tutorial. Alright you guys, so I only use three simple things to curl my hair. The first thing is these rubber bands, just these basic little rubber bands. The second thing is water in a spray bottle. I don't use any products, just the water. And then just these plastic straws. I got these ones from Target. They were less than $2. They are the bendy straws, which are okay to use. Just make sure they're plastic, not the paper ones. And you're also going to need just something to tie your hair off, or you can just use a clip. And this is what I have to work with. So I'm going to show you guys at the top of my head um, what I do to tie my hair up around the straw. I usually start at the back of my head and work my way up, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to show you up front um, so it's easier for you guys to see how I tie up my hair. I'm going to show you twice, and then I'm just going to speed up the rest of the process. So I forgot to say I got my hair a little damp before I started wrapping. So I like to hold the straw where it um, bends at, and I like to start wrapping around there. And while I'm wrapping, I try to make my hair as close together as possible, just so it gives me that tighter curl at the end. So you just wrap your hair around, and you can always push together your hair if, it, if there are spaces in between. So when you're done wrapping it, at the very end where your hair is, you kind of want to just bend the straw and pin make it pinch the hair so the end doesn't pop out. And then you just tie your rubber band around it. And as you can see here, the part that's closer to my scalp, there I am just pushing the um, my hair closer together so it's tighter. So you just want to wrap your hair around the straw and to get it as close to your scalp as possible and then you just want to bend this side of the straw and tie this part off so yeah that's pretty much it guys um i'm gonna just do it one more time and i'm just gonna speed through the rest of the process <music> So right here I'm just showing you guys that the end of my hair started to pop out. Um, I just used the rubber band 
and just tie it around that little part so it's not that big a deal if it starts to pop off just secure it with a rubber band and I'm just pushing my hair together to make it tight and then I start to twist it and make it closer to my scalp and then tie this one off So when you're spraying your hair, you don't want it to be too wet because it won't dry thoroughly. So you just want it to be a little bit wet to the touch when you do spray it. So here I only have the top section left to do. Now when I only have this part, I like to section it um, from the front to the back. And then from there, I just take out little sections and do the same thing. Alright you guys, so that's about it. Now you just gotta sleep in it. Um, you can use a hair dryer to blow dry it if you wanted to. But I don't have a hair dryer so I like to sleep in it so it dries all night. Come on, All right, you guys, so it's the next morning. I slept in this hair. I didn't wear a shower cap. You can wear a shower cap if you want, but I don't like how it crumbled, like cr makes that sound. So I just sleep in this. It's not the most comfortable thing to sleep in, but I do this just so it stays my hair longer. Now it's time to take them out. Um, I'm just gonna show you how, I mean, it's simple. You just take out the straws, but I'm gonna show you how I do one 
and then I'm just gonna speed through the rest. So, I usually, I mean, it doesn't really matter. I usually do the the. I usually take off the rubber band that's not the close one to the head, but the one that's further from the head. You can start from the top, or you can start from the bottom. It doesn't really matter. Well, I'm gonna start from the top. So all you do. This part is way faster than putting them in, thank God. You take out both rubber bands first. Why is this? Oh, this is what I do. So for the part that's closer to the head, you can just grab this and pull it, and then the rubber band will just pop off. So. Once you have both rubber bands off, you kind of want to loosen the curl around it so you can just slide, okay, this side, you can just slide off the straw and look at that. And it's already separating, but we're going to wait till the end to separate all the curls. So I'm just going to speed through this part and take out all the straws. So this is what it looks like when you take out all the straws. It's definitely shorter than it's going to be throughout the day because it's going to fall. Um, so now you got to separate them. So I, I don't know where I start. I mean, you could start anywhere. So this is how I separate it. You just got to separate. I stick my finger in the middle and then kind of just... Got to be careful though at the end because they do kind of tangle. A little bit so yeah you just separate all the curls and then that's pretty much it I know it looks a little crazy right now but trust me it'll look good at the end <laughs> So at the end, you kind of just have to feel around um, and see if there's any dense curls that you missed that you still need to separate. You'll be able to feel them compared to everything else that's separated. So, and I like to leave some more together than others just to get more definition. And then I just kind of use my fingers and go at the roots kind of use my fingers as a pick just to give it more volume that it's lacking but yeah I mean that's kind of the gist of it I mean so just go around and fluff it out so I don't usually wear it like this I like to put it up in I personally put it up in a bun in a curly bun just to make it look a little bit more natural because I mean you can still see my straight roots. So, this is what the back looks like. I only wish I had this naturally. You can style it however you want to. I'm gonna show you what I do when I put my hair up. You can either you can style it so many different ways, but you can either put it in a little half ponytail on top, the cute little curly bun or half up, half down curly bun. 
You honestly don't even need a hair tie. But yeah, you guys, look how cute this is. I mean, super cute. And like I said, it's gonna fall throughout the day. It's not gonna be so tight, but it's cute like this too, you know? You do have to sacrifice a little bit of sleep for this hairstyle. I'm not as blessed to wake up like this. So I'm gonna show you guys how I wear my hair in a high curly bun. So you grab all your hair up in a high pony, a loose, dang, a loose one. And then I leave out some of the the front ones and then some of the side ones. Like this. You can leave however much you want out, depending on the look you're going for, but I really like how it looks when there's a few little strands out. And then you can even leave some in the back. So yeah, once you grab all your hair, you just loosely put it in a bun, and you kind of have to just play with it. You can use bobby pins too, sometimes I use bobby pins, just to help secure it. Excuse my bald spot right here. <laughs> but yeah, you guys, that's pretty much the gist of it. I mean... The styling is up to you. I personally like to wear it up. It's just my personal preference. But yeah, I think it's super cute. It's so cute. But yeah, you just gotta play around with it and style it the way you want. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. If you like this hairstyle and this technique, let me know. If you like these types of hair videos, let me know also in the comments. I want to know what you guys want to see. Yeah, if you like this video, please like. And if you like me, please subscribe to my channel. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.